everyone, Miss Maddie here to read to you guys another story this week. So the book I chose for today is called Egbert, The Slightly Cracked Egg. I thought this book would be a great choice because Easter is right around the corner now and I think some of you guys might be dying some Easter eggs. So I thought what a better book than a book about eggs. So again, this book is called Egbert, The Slightly Cracked Egg. And it's by Tom Ross and illustrated by Rex Barron. There once was an egg named Egbert. He loved to paint beautiful pictures. Egbert's paintings always cheered up the other eggs in the refrigerator. But one day, it was discovered that Egbert was slightly cracked. And there they are discovering the crack. Eggs with cracked shells were not allowed to stay. Sadly, the other eggs told Egbert he would have to leave. Egbert waved goodbye to his old friends. He hunched his shoulders, what little shoulders he had, and pressed his shell together so that the crack almost disappeared. Almost. How do you guys think Egbert is feeling now that he has to leave? Then he set out to look for a new place to live. All the drawers had labels, but none of them was right for Egbert. He knew he would have to look harder. There had to be some place where he would fit in. Before long, Egbert came to a spot with a beautiful view. If only I could stay here, he thought. Then he had a great idea. No one would know that he was an egg with a cracked shell. He would paint himself to look like the other things around him. He'd blend right in. Can you guys find Egbert? But just as Egbert was thinking he'd found the perfect place, a potato plant happened to notice. Split, the plant ordered. Egbert tried not to be discouraged. Maybe I'll have better luck outdoors, he said to himself. The only way down was to jump. Luckily, Egbert landed in a soft bed of flowers. He had never seen flowers before, but they smelled even better than butter and lettuce. Perhaps this is the perfect place for me, he thought. A dab here, a splotch there, voila! Egbert was covered with flowers. Can you guys find Egbert in the picture? But late that afternoon, an angry bee discovered that you cannot get nectar from an egg. Again, Egbert was told to leave. It was getting dark and he still had not found a place to live. Just when he was about to give up all hope, a glimmer of something caught his eye. I wonder what he's gonna find. What beautiful little lights, Egbert whispered. With all his might and twice his usual care, he climbed up the fence. Perfect, Egbert said, when he was covered with stars. Do you guys think sitting on a fence is a safe place for a cracked egg? But the next morning, when the night stars were gone, a cat discovered that Egbert was just an egg with a cracked shell. Scramble, said the cat. Egbert took a hard fall on the sidewalk. Now he was more cracked than ever. As it started to rain, he began to sob. He realized that no matter how he painted himself, he could not hide who he was. How do you guys think Egbert is feeling now? I wonder what Egbert's gonna do. Finally, the rain stopped and the sun broke through a crack in the clouds. Egbert began to notice something he had never noticed in his whole life. The world was full of cracks, all sorts of wonderful cracks. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to be slightly cracked, he thought. And there's the crack in the clouds that lets through the light. From then on, Egbert traveled all around the world, making new friends and seeing famous cracked sites. So here you guys can see that the rocks are cracked. Over here, you see a crack in the volcano. It looks like it's erupting, all that smoke is leaving. But he never forgot his friends back home in the fridge, and he painted them beautiful postcards of his travels. And look, we see more cracks around the world. The clouds, the volcano, and this, which I think is the Grand Canyon. They were well and truly amazed, and they missed him, if truth be told. Yeah, how do you guys think this egg is feeling?
He doesn't look too happy. To this day, Egbert does not regret being cracked. In fact, he is even a little proud of it. And that's Egbert, the slightly cracked egg. So even if you guys think that there you have a little crack about yourself, it doesn't mean you can't accomplish anything you want. So I hope you guys enjoy that story, and I hope you guys have a really fun Easter this weekend. And if you guys do dye some eggs, send some pictures, and if the eggs have a crack in them, know that they're still okay. Bye, guys.